Hello and welcome Pixels! 25 Games is here and today I want to show you how to work with shading of your 3D object in Blender 2.79 and compare it with Blender 2.8. Please keep in mind that Blender 2.8 is still in beta and I got the build on 18th May. One last thing before we start. The function smooth or smooth vertices is something different than Shade Smooth because it will deform your geometry in Blender 2.79 and 2.8. What is shading and how does it work? At first, I will not talk in detail about the fundamentals of how to understand shade because it is a very huge topic and I just want to present those Blender functions here. Shading doesn't influence your mesh geometry at all. Your vertices, edges or faces will stay as they are. The only difference is the behavior of faces which are connected to each other with two vertices and an edge. If you have a cube, you see two faces which touch each other by this edge here. The transition is hard and the light breaks on this edge. You are now able to create a smoother transition by adding further geometry, but you will still see the single faces. You are able to adjust those transitions with smooth or hard shading as you wanna. How does it work in Blender 2.79? Let's take a sphere for example. If you create a basic sphere in Blender, the result is this one here and every single face is flat. To make it smooth without adding further geometry, just go to edit mode, select all, press W and select shade smooth. The result is much better than before. You can switch back to flat by selecting shade flat or you are able to select single faces and assign shade flat as well. If you continue modeling, you see that everything is smooth now. But maybe you don't want this. You want a hard edge here and here. And there is a function for this as well. Select your needed edges. Press Ctrl plus E for calling up the edge panel. Go to Edge Data and select Mark Sharp. Selected edges will turn to blue because they are marked now, but shading doesn't change. So where's the meaning behind this function? To solve this you need to enable auto smooth for your mesh geometry. Just select your object, by the way it doesn't matter if you are in object or in edit mode, go to property panel and switch to the object data tab. Here you need to find normals and enable auto smooth. Auto smooth works with an angle. Every transition between 0 and your entered value will be smoothed. Everything upwards your value is still hard shaped. This angle is working for the positive and the negative direction. You see that the marked sharp edges will do their job now and so you can shape your object like you wanna. But keep in mind. Auto smooth works only by assigning shade smooth before or afterwards. Shade smooth plus mark sharp doesn't work at all. Mark sharp works only with auto smooth. And how does it work in Blender 2.8? I will fasten up the previous process by just showing you where are all those functions. You find smooth shading in vertices, edge or face selection mode in the bottom bar under face and smooth shading. The shortcut is only available in face mode and then you need to right click and select shade smooth. You will not find this function in the right click menu in vertices or edge mode. Mark Sharp is as well only available in the right click menu when you are in edge selection mode. Don't search for it in vertices or face selection mode. But you will always find it in the bottom bar under 
Edge and Mark Sharp. Again, the function is only working together with Auto Smooth. The position of Auto Smooth doesn't change and this is still under property, object data, normals and check Auto Smooth. You can adjust the angle as well than in Blender 2.79 here. Alright, everything is clear or do you have any more questions? If so, write them to the comments of this video below. In the next video I will talk about materials and textures. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching and till the next time. Don't forget to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, check out our other videos and have a nice day. Cheers!